I'm going to look at a question on the enthalpy topic. So the question starts with a definition. Part B is a calculation and it takes you through it step by step. It's based around the combustion of pentanol. So we're told how many grams of pentanol is burnt and that it's used to heat up 250 cm cubed of water from 24 Celsius to 78. So the first part, we have to calculate the energy released in kilojoules. We've then got to calculate the moles of alcohol burnt. And then we've got to turn our answers into an enthalpy change and just beware that it wants it to three significant figures. Part C, we're given some information about hexane. And again, a bit of a recall question, what are the standard conditions? We've then got to put the state symbols into the equation for the enthalpy change of formation of hexane. One clue for that one, we're going to have to use some information up here to help us. And then one of these sort of harder suggest questions. So can you come up with a reason, possible reason why it's difficult to determine the standard enthalpy change of formation of hexane directly? And then that leads us into the last part of the question where we're going to use enthalpy changes of combustion to calculate a value for the enthalpy change of formation of hexane. So if you have a go, and then I'll go through the answers. So part A Define the term enthalpy change of combustion. It hasn't said standard, so we don't need to get the standard conditions in. So that's the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance burns completely in oxygen. The calculation, part B, you can see I've written there, it's an MC delta T question. So the clues there, we've got the volume of water, so effectively that's the mass of water that's being heated. We've got a temperature change there, and we're given specific heat capacity, which is C. So there are all the clues in the question that it's an MC delta T. So to calculate Q, it's 250 multiplied by 4.18 multiplied by the temperature change 54. That comes out at 56430 joules. But if you see, just keep an eye on the units that they want. Kilojoules there. So we need to divide this by 1,000. So knock the decimal point back through. 56.43. How many moles of pentanol have been burnt? So moles is mass over MR. So we've got 1.76 grams have been burnt. And the MR is 88. And so that's 0 0.02 moles. There's even a mark there for calculating the MR of pentan 1 -ol. And then the enthalpy change to three significant figures. Delta H is minus in this case because it's exothermic. Q over the moles. So we put our kilojoules, divide by the moles, and there's your calculator value to three significant figures, minus 2820. Standard conditions, recall 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius, 100 kilopascals or one atmosphere. So I did say at the start there was a clue. Here's the clue. Hexane melts at minus 95 and boils at 69. So under standard conditions at 25 degrees C, it's going to be a liquid. And that's going to feed into this equation here. So carbon's a solid, hydrogen's a gas, hexane's a liquid.
Why is it very difficult to determine the standard enthalpy change of formation of hexane directly? Well, if you took six carbons and seven moles of hydrogen, you could form more than just straightforward hexane. You could get a branched isomer, so lots of possible products could form. So the last part, you could use an enthalpy cycle. I've just gone for the formula here. So when, it's, when you're given delta HC, it's R minus P, reactants minus products. So it's the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the reactants minus the sum of the enthalpy changes of combustion of the products. And just remember that in the equation, we've got six moles of carbon, seven moles of hydrogen. So we need to multiply these accordingly. So there's the calculation and there's the answer.